Hey everybody, on today's video, we're gonna be going over Isuzu NPR Wheels and Tires 101. Figured it was important to take a little bit of time to go over the manufacturer's recommendation on the pattern of which you should rotate your tires, what sockets you're gonna need in case of a roadside emergency, uh, just a few little pointers as an Isuzu owner, as if you're gonna be working on these trucks yourself, try and save a little bit of money, uh, you really need to know these things. So let's get started. When you're rotating your tires, your front tires are gonna go straight back to the inside. The inside tire is gonna go to the outside and your outside tire is gonna come around to the front on the opposite side of the truck. We're over here on the driver's side on the rear. You're gonna need two different sockets to get these two tires off. What looks like a stud right here is actually the inner lug nut holding the inner tire on. So this right here is hollow and it's threaded onto a stud. So the outer tire, you're gonna need a 41 millimeter. The outside of this has threads on it, which has the outer lug nut on. Whenever you're on the driver side, the lug nuts are reverse thread or left-handed thread. That's why you see an L right here on the end of these lug nuts and an L on the end of the studs on the front tire, which we'll move to in just a second. So whenever you go to take these off, you wanna to go to the right instead of to the left. So to get the outside tire off, like I said, use the 41 millimeter, your outer tire will come off. Then your inner tire will be held on by these square headed lug nuts. You'll need a 21 millimeter square socket. Ours is a Genius tool brand, the part number. 649521S and then that fits right on the end and that will take your inner tire off. So here's something really interesting that I just found out. Whoever worked on this truck last, whenever they had the two hubs off, the only difference between the hub on the driver's side and the passenger side, like I said, is the studs. One's left-handed and one's right-handed. So if you have both of them off and they're sitting next to each other on the table, when you do rotors, place rotors, whenever you repack your bearings, if you're not paying attention, you can put the one from the passenger side on the driver's side, vice versa. So I'm on the driver's side, you see there's an R. So whoever put this truck back together, put the hubs on the wrong sides. So always pay attention to the R and the L to make sure that it's right-handed thread or left-handed thread. Because if I hadn't have noticed this, then I would have had my impact trying to take this off like it was a left-handed thread and it wouldn't budge. I'd have got the torch, potentially messed up my stud. So that's an indicator whether your lug nut is going to be right-handed thread or left-handed thread. Like you saw a minute ago, I have two different sockets that I use whenever I'm taking off and putting on the rear wheels, the 41 millimeter for the outer and the 21 millimeter square for the inner. They make a two in one socket that I have. I only use this in case of emergencies if I break one of these. I don't recommend using this if you take your socket, let me set these. You take your socket and you put it all the way against the rim whenever you're tightening the outer, you're actually grabbing onto the inner. So imagine this is the face of your rim. To tighten just the outer lug nut, you have to kind of come back off of it just a hair. And just to make sure that we're uh, tightening the outer and the inner individually, I go with the two different sockets. Whenever you're putting your tires back on, you're gonna to torque them to 362 foot-pounds. So if you're gonna tackle rotating your own tires every 5,000 miles, or you have a little roadside emergency kit, get you a big torque wrench that you can torque your lug nuts back down to 362 foot-pounds. The last thing I wanted to go over with you, if you're an Isuzu owner and you feel like you wanna tackle rotating your tires or you needed to take a tire off for whatever reason, 
and they haven't been off in a while or you live up north where there's a lot of rust. I live in Tennessee, don't really have that issue, but I have ran into lug nuts that just feel like they will not come off. I highly recommend investing in a small torch setup or just spraying penetrating oil on it and trying to let it set overnight if at all possible. Sometimes whenever you get the truck in and you need to get a tire off, these lug nuts are a pain in the butt. I have several left-handed thread and right-handed thread studs, lug nuts, and inner and outer lug nuts for the rear on hand just in case I have to give it a lot of heat and it needs to be replaced. It's part of it with these trucks. Just if you have a lug nut that feels like it will not come off, don't be dis discouraged. You're not the first one. Just be persistent and know that you may have to use a torch to get it off. If you like my videos, hit the subscribe button. And if you have any questions, comment down below. And you guys have a great day.